All right, so let's add some doors in this area here. Um, we'll get a door into that room first, and we'll go ahead and go and click draw door, and we'll put a door, say, right, well, let's put it right here for now. I'm going to rotate it around 180 degrees from this point to 180 and see what happens. Yeah, so um, we'll go ahead and click this so it goes the other direction. Let's see, I want to do that so it goes that way. And that's how I'm going to want it positioned in the room. Uh, it's going to mess things up as soon as I move it. Nope, didn't do it. So change the width of the uh, the wall there. So our distance here, DI, from here to here, is 4 inches. So whatever that, that width was, nice width on that, we might want to maybe change it to be more in line with what the other doors were. Um, 2 foot 8 would be good, so let's do that again, DI. Here's 1 foot, so hold on one second. So we'll just go ahead and move this over. So it goes over six inches. Pick an arbitrary point and go that way, six inches. All right, and go ahead and click trim. Get rid of that and that. So we got a door in there. All right, so we're going to want to add a door in here too. So what I think I'm going to do is just click this one and drag this all the way across like that. Uh, and then I think I'll also then copy that or offset it four inches to get an interior wall right in here. And see how this works out. Um, we'll go ahead and put a door in. Drop a door in here somewhere right there. It looks good. It's going the wrong direction, but let's get the wall thickness right first. Um, we can switch, swap it so it goes the other way. We don't want a closet that goes inward. Um, probably want to flip it around this way, but uh, <clears throat> we'll move that then over to here. So we're going to move that off of there, but let's get a good uh, size for our closet door and two foot six is probably enough so then that leaves us with whatever's left over here so we'll type di again we go from here to here one foot ten um, so that's twelve foot or yeah one foot ten that should mean that we move it over about eleven inches so let's try that, see if we center it up somewhere in there. Let's move it this way, 11 inches, and let's see if that looks centered. It does look centered in there. Looks pretty good. So um, we'll click this and go up this way, here like that. Um, we'll go ahead and click Trim. We're going to use this and this and trim out those sections of that there. So now the door opens the way we want it to. Um, I think because we've extended that up there now, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to do this to get that so that's an open. I'm going to go ahead and extend this one out across here just to make it so that goes through the center there all the way to the other side. And that's just a personal preference. <clears throat> I might try to do something very similar with this. I'm going to extend these out. And we're going to fix this corner back up here in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and click extend and say to that wall right there, right click and then left click those things. Um, I might go ahead and do that one too to get that all the way across there. So now this will come down to here, and I'll go ahead and click Trim, and use this as a cutting, oops, use, or use those as cutting edges and get that out of there. Um, I can also do this part right here, because this is going to work out, that right there. Okay, so now we're talking about putting a closet door that goes into this bedroom here, and let's say we picked one. Let's go ahead and put it right there. Um, I'll rotate it probably 90 degrees this way and I think we're gonna go to the four inch wall which moves this up to here which makes it easy then because I can now click that and move this well let's say I move it back to the perpendicular here so I don't know why and how it chooses those things to do that you know figure those that out but um, I don't I know I don't like it but um, for right now it's okay so I'll move this back to I want to move well let's just do this um, we're gonna make this door uh, two foot eight right oh, looks like it may be close to being centered on here so we'll type DI and go from here to here and that's eight inches DI again from here to here and that's eight inches wow I got lucky on that one doesn't happen too often um, trim that and that and we're gonna get this right here so now that door opens into this room um, against the wall the way we want it to. So that looks pretty good. Um, 
for as far as doors go. All right. So let's see. We need to add doors into the front of the house and into the back of the house. Those are generally wide, so you can get things in here. Um, let's see where they're located. There's a door that's off of that floor. So it's 9 foot 8 over to the center of that door in the back. Back there. So let's go back here. So from here, we're going to go over it. We can do, make this real simple. We'll offset this. Um, offset this 9 foot 8 inches from here over to here. We can put the door centered on that right there. So we'll get a door in here. Um, and generally those doors tend to be really, really wide. Three foot four is probably a really good door. It might only be three foot, um, but let's go with the three foot four. Um, so we'll move this over this direction, 20 inches. That centers it on there. Now notice that this is a six inch wall, so that's the right thickness. Exterior doors tend not to open outward. We want them to open inward, so let's switch this around this way. And we're going to want to switch it this way too, so it opens up against the countertop here, so you can get things in and out really, really easily. Um, then uh, we'll go ahead and click trim. We'll use the trim. This is our cutting edges there and there. And oops, wow, that didn't work out right. So let's click trim. I'm going to click this as a cutting edge, and this is a cutting edge. And we'll get rid of that and that. So now that's our door there. We can show this. You can change these by making it open 60 degrees so it opens a little bit more if you want to see what it's going to look like. So that'll work out pretty good. But that's a good spot for that door. Let's see, does it tell us where the door is on this one? So from this here over, it's 2 foot 2 inches to the center of that door on the front. So that would be from this line right here. So let's offset two foot two inches and go over this way. And that's where the center of that door is. So when we put this, we'll do imperial door. I'm going to put it right there on that. Um, let's see if we can put it right here on this one. That's probably okay. So I'll go ahead and rotate this that way. And since it's a three foot four door we're going to move it again and we'll move it back this way 20 inches and that centers that one up that leaves us a gap there this door is going to open inward so we'll swap that position of that right there we can also do something like open that one 60 degrees so you can see that those two doors to get into this closet you have to close that door which is completely fine all right um so then we'll click trim and we're going to use this as a cutting edge and this is a cutting edge, then right click and get rid of that and that. Well, that didn't work out right. Click trim, use this as a cutting edge, and this is a cutting edge. Well, so let me try this again. I'm going to move that from this corner. I moved it from the corner there. I'll move it down this way four inches. Try it a different way. Um, so that's still centered up on there. The distance should be right. So click trim. And select that as a cutting edge. And this is a cutting edge. I should be able to get rid of that piece and that piece. Didn't quite work. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. So uh, let me move this from here to that corner. And then we're going to move it again. Arbitrary base point over this way, four inches. And this time when I click trim, this is my cutting edge, and this is my cutting edge. There it goes. So it disappears. Yours should work out right. Um, if you did it all right from the beginning. I think I had some issues with uh, where things were located. See, my corners are off there a little bit. So I am probably made a crucial error right in the very, very beginning. Um, if that's the case... I may have to help you. Remember, your exterior walls are supposed to be six inches. I was pretty sure mine was set that way, but maybe it didn't work out that way. All right. Um, so I'll do an X line right here going across the exterior. I want to do a horizontal one going right through that right there. And I want that to be construction line so I can dimension from it later on. Okay, so my exterior doors are in. My interior doors are in. My stairs are there. Uh, I've got all the interior things that I need. I need a door that goes to the to the um, 
garage and it's somewhere right here. So this is going to be the same as an exterior door. So uh, we're going to make it wide, good wide door so we can get things in and out. Carrying groceries from the house in or something like that. Alright, we'll click rotate. Rotate this one down that way. So then let's try moving this. We'll move this over, shift right click perpendicular. And I want about, let's see, we want to open it to the inside of the house, so we'll go this way. But we want to move it probably about four inches up. That way, four inches. So about right there. So when we click trim, trim that and that, get rid of this and this. All right. So that should be our doors. All right. So we'll stop there and we'll worry about the garage door and windows here in the next video.